Right. So what they did is the key discovery, this is about six years ago at uh -huh. Harvard, um, Charles Lieber and his team of, of neuroscientists already figured out what their key development was, was a translation module that translates brainwaves into digital ah, uh, okay. code and back and vice versa. So they've already successfully worked on this, those people with monkeys and uh, rats. And they not only were... Was the rat on Wikipedia or something? <laughs> how to fucking escape. <laughs> what they did is simple stuff like they taught, they taught a rat how to run a, a maze. And then the rat could communicate uh, that knowledge to another rat through the embedded Wi-Fi antennas. Um, you know, Musk made up uh, a name for it called Neural Lace, the actual impl implant. So then let me ask you something about your statement you just made. Okay. You sound smarter than you actually are. I know, I know. How does this then play to the point which I made about the fact, is it truly making humans evolve for the benefit of the human being? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if you can be smarter in some way because of a digital device, then you're smarter. I mean, if you want to go into the philosophical Oh, that's exactly that, what I'm doing. I know where you're headed with this. Of course you do. The cost-benefit analysis. Yeah, what is it costing us? Well, that cell phone is expensive for one thing, mm -hmm. and almost everybody buys one. Yeah. So if you're not flush with money, spending eight or $900 for a smartphone is not an easy buy. 